Hi, this is David, and you're watching entry number 114. Uh, whatever. Um, so, I've returned to the nice little river that I live near. And, um, I've decided to. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. Um, at this point, if I'm, if I'm truthful, I'm very, very dejected and just not sure of anything. Um, it's an interesting, it's an interesting experience to be it's an interesting experience to be um, to be in a situation to be in a situation where under normal circumstances you can you can explain yourself and Discuss somewhat eloquent, but where I am now, I'm stuck in a position of hopelessness. The way the Korean government has the way the Korean government compartmentalizes this, this program keeps it from being truly great, I think. And I think that might be a bigger issue with just Korea in general, is the compartmentalization of, of the society. The fact that the fact that you still that you still to some degree have castes, have um, have stations in life where just not meant to necessarily rise above that station. It hinders it to a great degree. Now I understand that in the 21st century, you know, it's become a lot more westernized in terms of how things uh, kind of operate. But I think the foundation has been laid, and what I've run into is a serious issue communication, um, disagreement, and ultimately um, inefficiency. What, what should a rational person do in this situation? I can speak to my boss, to the principal. Actively harasses me and makes my life difficult. Knowingly, she seeks out to punish me through following guidelines to a T. I should say, like I did before, the system is compartmentalized. So each school, each school is beholden only unto itself to some degree to a major degree. So when things are, are cut a certain way, it is to the speck of the school. Many other people I've spoken to do not have the same degree of restriction, control, and I'm not sure if ridicule is the right word, but they are not under the same circumstances I am. My circumstances, I feel, are, are unique. Maybe a couple other people, to my, I don't know. Maybe a couple other people may, may face the same struggle I do, but I have not talked with them. Um, I'm currently standing under a few questions by the Actually, you can see maybe this kind of
kind of is dried up and there's a lot of ice kind of floating around. Um, so, like I said before, what should a rational person do in this situation? I don't know. My options, as I see them, are one, eliminate myself from the equation, meaning leave the program, or two, make, <laughs> I, you know, I, I know a lot of people might be saying you should try and make the best of of the situation, and I agree with that, you know, I talked at length, ad nauseum, about, about the, about the decision of happiness, the choice of happiness, and don't get me wrong, when I'm not at school, I'm trying to be happy, but what I'm finding is that more and more is the case, is that the, the effects of school are bleeding over into my into my uh, home life, so that it's becoming harder and harder to enjoy what free time I have. Um, you know, it's not it's not lightly this, this these ideas I've had. I know that there there are serious ramifications, implications, and effects that they could that they could incur but there there there's a degree where others happiness should be put behind your own i've spent 4 months here putting up with putting up with a lot of negativity criticism and downright meanness for fifteen thousand dollars, or sorry, fourteen thousand dollars a month U.S. Or no, sorry, fourteen hundred dollars a month U.S. Sorry, big big difference, big difference. Now, if I was making fourteen thousand dollars a month, I could put up with this shit. But if I'm making fourteen hundred dollars, it is a goddamn huge difference in that. So, that's kind of where I'm at. Is, is the money justified, or does this lesson justify the price, or the salary, or whatever? No, it doesn't. Does the life experience justify this, this situation? And maybe, maybe, but I can think of a few other times in my life where this kind of shenanigans have been pulled on me. And in the end, did I learn anything? No. No, I didn't. I guess, you know, I learned that... I learned that mean people often... I learned that mean people often get... Um, they get benefited by being mean. I've learned that um, the way society works behooves those who can take advantage of others with little reprieve. I've learned that being nice and trying to do the right thing often results in a certain degree of, I don't know, in a certain degree of self-sacrifice that I'm not sure is worth it, to be honest. Yeah, sure, I've, I learned that this lady's a bitch and that I have, that, um, you know, that I can struggle through it and do this and that, but really, is all this, is all this anxiety, is all this anguish really worth it? So, you know, this is taking 
I won't, I don't want, I want to stress that this is now at the point where it's taking physical toll on me. I woke up the last five days in a row with a knot in my stomach and feeling sick t and feeling sick because of the how much anxiety I'm feeling. So it's gotten to a degree where it's not good. Like it's it's physically manifesting itself in me. So um, I'll try. You know, I'll give it another couple months maybe. But really, people. We're kind of circling the drain at this point, so um, I'm not sure how long these up entries will last. Hopefully, you know, they'll keep going, but at this point, you, we're starting to see a serious, uh, a serious turn in this chapter of my life. So, thank you for watching. This has been entry number 114.